Welcome to Cooking with KBR, and today we're going to make a beer can chicken. We're going to smoke this chicken for about three hours. Uh, we're going to use a propane grill, but you can use a pellet grill or a charcoal smoker or whatever. But a basic propane grill will work just well, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this recipe. So for, for what you're going to need, uh, some heavy-duty aluminum foil, a beer of your choosing. I recommend like a basic or light lager. I wouldn't go too heavy on the IPAs. It'll make the chicken kind of fruity. Um, here's our seasonings. You can use anything you want. We have some black peppercorn, garlic, Dano's original, uh, garlic powder, and Louisiana uh, Cajun mix right there. We also have some apple barbecue uh, wood chips that we're going to be using and some olive oil for a binder. So we also have a chicken here. This is just a regular Purdue chicken. Uh, about seven bucks. Now we have brined this for about four hours. I recommend at least four hours if you can do 24 even better. Uh, just a basic salt water brine is all we're gonna do. We have our chicken that's been brined about four hours. We're just gonna dry it off a little bit. And we actually already have our spice blend in a bowl right here and our oil are ready to go. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to leave the skin on. And what I'm going to do is separate the skin from the rest of the meat, but leave it on. And then I'm going to put my olive oil underneath the skin with our spice seasoning. And I'm also going to do the same for the outside. Now that we have the skin separated from the meat, just like so, uh, we're going to take some of this olive oil. I just like to use my hand and just massage, try to get it all over the chicken. The more the better. You're going to do this to the outside of the skin as well. But first, we're just going to start the back side here. Let's flip it around. My dog is very interested. Binder on there, olive oil. We are going to put some seasoning in between the skin and the meat. So, again, I just like to do the hand method. I'm going to just grab me a nice handful of seasoning. Just go right on in there and just spread it throughout underneath the skin. Just like that. Make sure you don't forget about the legs and the wings. Nice and evenly coated in there. You can see it's nice and seasoned. Now with our remainder seasoning, we're just gonna put it on the outside. Just rub it around on the outside here. So we're seasoning on there. And you're good to go. You guys can skip this next step if you're using a pellet grill or a uh, electric smoker or whatever, but what I do with my propane grill is I get some foil, I pour some wood chips out, doesn't have to be a ton. Uh, you can uh, moisten these if you like. I don't like to moisten them. Um, you're going to need roughly this much and three foil packets, so I'm going to show you how to make the foil packets now. Yep, just get you a healthy amount of foil and just fold it over into a pouch. Here's our pouch of wood chips. You're just going to poke a bunch of holes in it. Like I said, you'll probably need two or three of these for the full smoking process for this chicken. On the propane grill, you're going to want to put it under one burner on one side of your grill. So right now, I have only one burner on. It's on the side with the packet. And I'm just going to leave that burner on. I'm not going to turn the other side on at all. And this is the side that I'll have my chicken sitting on to be smoked. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to wait for this to smoke up real good. And then you're going to put your chicken on. And you want it to be, you want to try to maintain around between 225 and 250. Don't go over 250 on the temp. And do that for about three hours. All right, time to put our chicken on the grill. So we have our yingling light right here, and we're going to set our chicken right on top of it. Had to put the beer can uh, in the chicken off the camera because couldn't do it one-handed. Um, so now that we have it on here, our packet's starting to produce smoke. Maybe two pouches, two to three pouches, and smoking one chicken. Um, but you could do two pretty easily on a grill this size. So we're going to go ahead and close it, and we're going to let this cook for about two and a half hours or so. And uh, halfway through it, we will uh, change that packet. Here's our chicken at about the uh, two hour mark. I'd say another 30 or 40 minutes and she'll be done. All right, and here's our finished product. It's been a little over three hours. It took about three wood packets and it looks pretty good.